Team. This is Todd Mitchell for Monday, March 31st. If you recall on Friday, I was looking for, well, actually, the last few days of last week, I was looking for the stock Q, Quintiles Transitional Holding. I was looking for that to really start to expand out because the price has really been contracting, as you can see in here. The overall trend is up. The market is pulled down into we're right above that gray action zone. So we're at a good support zone right in here. Prices have really been leveling, leveling out and really contracting compared to the average true range, the ATR, of about a buck thirty the last 21 days on average. We, we contracted to about half that. So my trigger last week was 50.58. 50.58 and the market never did it. Friday came within three cents taking us and triggering us into the market long, but the market never uh, was able to execute it. Remember, I placed that trade in Interactive Brokers, and it was never executed to the upside. So I'm still going to keep this on the watch list. There are no earnings until about a month to five weeks from now. So I don't see any reason why this is contracting. So obviously, after contraction, the market expands. When the market really gets volatile and expands, the market naturally uh, moves into contraction, right? The phases of the market. So the market right now is 49.88. We're still looking for a bust up through 50.58. That would be our trigger to look to get long. All right, let's take a look at it. just a couple other things here. Um, look at the E-minis, okay? The E-minis, we've been locked in a trading range for quite a while now, right? All-time highs right in here, right? Market came down put in this low, tried to retest and tried to take out that high, wasn't able to do it, came back down, came within a couple points of actually touching this low or taking out, wasn't able to do it, we're bouncing back up. So right now, overall market is in a holding pattern right now. I definitely agree with Doc, the market is going to bust out of here. Uh, when, who knows, in which direction, don't really know that either. Nobody knows, but we're gonna wait sit wait and be patient got to exercise our discipline and wait for the market to tell us what it wants to do right instead of trying to um, guess in which way it's going to break we need to wait and let the market tell us what it wants to do by either penetrating up through the highs or down through the lows and then i'd like to see a close either above the highs or below these lows to give give me a sense of direction in here okay and then real quick about crude oil remember crude oil I've been talking about this market moving up for quite a while since right down in this area I mean look at the market pull down into right into the gray action zone uh, after seeing a, a nice move to the upside of course into the gray action zone had some price patterns to get long in here and the market still heading higher kind of pausing a little bit but Friday made a higher high and a higher low from Thursday and today we've taken out Friday's low but we're near the highs so I suspect we may get a nice rally up today we'll see if we're able to take out Friday's high in crude oil and just a couple other stocks to take a look at ECL ECL nice little holding pattern here a nice little contraction looking to get long this as well look at tight little inside vertical bar Thursday and Friday sitting right on top of that 50 exponential moving average Friday creating that inside pattern lower high than Friday's or Friday's high was lower than Thursday's and the low was higher than uh, Friday's low was higher than Thursday so we've got a, ni in, a nice inside bar right now about 107.13 is a place where I believe this market could move higher so take a look at that have a profitable day hope that helps be back with you tomorrow. Bye for now.